Hello and welcome back to On The Workbench. Today we're taking a look at the set of Vera VDE Craftform screwdrivers. So we're taking a look at these for a couple of reasons. Number one, I've been needing a set of VDE or electrical screwdrivers for a while. So if you don't know what that means, hang on. We'll get to that in just a moment here. And I thought I would buy some Vera screwdrivers this time just to kind of change things up here a bit. And so if you look at the back of the box, you can see a couple of images here that kind of transcend volt uh, uh, languages here. Uh, and these are primarily in, uh, intended for electrical use. And so the first thing I notice here out of the package, we've got a little plastic sleeve that we can remove. And now with that plastic sleeve off, I can open the box up something like this. And then in here, the kit includes a pegboard, or really, I guess it's just a wall mount screwdriver holder. I thought it was going to have some pegboard hooks into it, but it looks like this has to be screwed into a wall or affixed to a couple other pegboard hooks. And this can hold seven screwdrivers. And in here in the separate box over here, we find our VDE screwdrivers. So what makes these special is the shank of the screwdriver here all the way up to the grip and beyond is electrically insulated. So if you touch something that is electrically conductive with the tip of the screwdriver, it is not in theory supposed to come back to the end user to help shield them uh, from an unwanted electrical shock. So I've got some work I need to do on my household standby generator. And one of the final steps in that is adjusting a voltage regulator. Now in theory, I shouldn't need screwdrivers like this to do that, but I thought it would be better safe than sorry. So that's why I picked up this kit. So this kit at the end, you can see there's a large number two at the end there for a Phillips number two. And we'll see if you can see here how there, there's uh, some laser etching here at the very tip. And then we have a Phillips number one. Hopefully you can see the number one there. And then we have four straight slotted screwdrivers, if you will. So these are all, they're made in Germany, so it should be of no surprise that they are measured in metric. So we got five and a half millimeter, four millimeter, three and a half millimeter, and two and a half millimeter. And true to them being made in Germany, rather than, rather than a decimal point, it's a comma there. So you have to get a little bit familiar with German uh, nomenclature with numbers. And so then with these screwdrivers, if I flip this over, you can arrange these in obviously several different orders. Let's start with the largest. You know, come to look at this here. I'm not even sure I like how this works here because I don't like how this is actually gripping onto the protection of the screwdriver. To me, these screwdrivers, one of the things you want to do is when you're caring for these is make sure you're not scratching and dinging these up. And it's pretty clear to me that this pegboard holder, uh, I would need to drill out these little uh, holders here, as you can see, if I flip it upside down, it's holding it in. But I also don't want to risk those scratching up that insulated protection sleeve. Maybe if I work it a few times, it'll uh, release and let it go and be fine. But I'm a little concerned about this, specifically for this type of screwdriver. If I just had a normal metal shank screwdriver, I'm not sure I would care nearly as much. Also in the box, we've got a, Rebel, a Vera Rebel Tool Rebel sticker, and that's it. So they obviously come very nicely packaged. And just for some reference here, when it comes to the styles of these screwdriver tips or grips, the end of these has what they call their craft form grip. So you can see it's a, supposed to be a six-sided grip. If you look at the six sides of the uh, orange there and the yellow, which is very similar to the Philo, also made in Germany, screwdriver. But you can see where the Vera has a bulge here a little bit closer to the midpoint of it, and it's a little bit larger, but still very similar to the Philo, except for some of these Philos also have a separate hook in it. Except for these VDE ones, you got to be a little bit careful on uh, what kind of indentations you want to put into these for that voltage protection. But if you look at these 
uh, Filo Frico screwdrivers. They're very, very similar in terms of uh, the, the grip and how that grip feels and all the way down to the bottom. These Filos have some sides on it that you can get your fingers on on a couple flats. You've got six flats around the Veras. And so overall, these feel pretty good in the hands. Now, what I don't have here is a good place to put my thumb in to help me turn this, which in this case I think is fine if I'm doing a lot of electrical work that I'm going to be pulling these out. I'm probably not going to be turning things that are going to be that tight that I need extra torque. You know, just for comparison, if I look at my Craftsman Professional, these are made by SK Tools. These have a really nice slot. I can put my thumb in to help me turn them and a nut there. I can put a wrench around it to bolster the screwdriver. Obviously, some of these are kind of going out of style with the rise of bit sockets or the snap-on grip that has three sides. This is might be one of my uh, more favorite grip styles because you've got a good spot for your thumb and your hand can wrap around it to be able to torque the grip to give you a good torque, or in this case here, this is a radiator pick. And then we've got the Mac screwdrivers. So the Mac has basically four of these indentations you can go around. Also relatively comfortable. I wouldn't say it's nearly as comfortable as a snap-on, but definitely works and is quite capable. And if we look at the old standby Craftsman USA uh, plastic handles here, these also have six sides, kind of like the Veras, and obviously they're hard handled. So I thought these Veras, uh, when I came to shopping for electrical screwdrivers, I don't really have a good way to test this, nor am I sure I want to, as I wanted a what I felt like would be a good, solid, reliable brand of electrical screwdrivers. If I'm looking for that protection, I didn't really want to cut any corners, and I wanted to go for something that I knew would be quality. And I'd also heard a lot about these tips on these screwdrivers. As you can see, the laser etching on the Phillips and even the slotted screwdrivers, if you can see here on the larger one, has some etching on it. All the way down to the smallest two and a half millimeter slotted is still etched as well at the end for that precision laser tip. Now for some fun testing the tips, I've got a Phillips number two screw that I dug out here, and we're gonna do some quick comparisons. So first of all, I've got a number two posi drive, which is something I've always loved, and I've got a video a while back, I see I put a card up in the corner about how well these posi drive screwdrivers can actually grip Phillips head screws, and this kind of falls off here, even though it is posi drive. I've got my Phillips number two Craftsman Professional. This obviously has some age on it, so the tip isn't quite perfect. We're going to seat that in. It seats in deeper than the posi drive does, and that holds a bit, but falls off relatively easy. And the same brand new screw, if I put on the brand new Vera, holds remarkably well. Obviously, it helps that the tip is brand new, and the real test will come after using these for a bit to see how well these tips hold up. But just right out the door, I've got to say, I'm pretty happy to see that indeed these tips do live up to some of the hype that I've read about for working. And so for about 30 bucks, I was not about to go out and cut corners and buy the most budget-friendly electrically insulated screwdrivers. That's why I opted for these Veras. And I thought for just a little over 30 bucks, you get a complete set of six. Obviously, there's a few more sizes I don't have, like a Phillips number three, but I think this probably covers 90% or more of all applications that I might want to reach for these for. The other thing I'm going to do with these is storing these separate from my normal screwdrivers, is I just want to make sure I'm protecting the insulation in here, and these aren't getting dinged up uh, and put into a bucket full of other tools that might damage or destroy the electrical insulation on it, which is what makes these valuable. Otherwise, they just turn into just an ordinary screwdriver, which is fine, nothing wrong with that, but you can also buy cheaper uh, sets of Vera screwdrivers that are the ordinary. And as is typical, this reddish, orange, and yellow seems to be a pretty typical combination for these electrical screwdrivers, regardless of brand, 
but it's also important anytime you come across a set of these that you inspect them yourself for care before you use them in any situation involving live electricity. So if you've got a set of these and have good experiences, bad experiences, we'd love to hear about it down below. Thanks for watching, and as always, have a great day. Bye.